Perfect. Now, later this morning, Deputy Minister of Arts and Culture, Rejoice Mabudafasi, will oversee the unveiling of the tombstone of the late liberation struggle hero, Josephine Moshabane, at Ikaya Center Dipkloff in Soweto. The event is part of the broader Department of Arts and Culture's program on the liberation heritage route to celebrate unsung heroes and heroines of the struggle against apartheid. We are joined in studio now by the Deputy Minister of Arts uh, and Culture, Rejoice Mabudafasi, as well as Maripa Moshabani, who is the brother of the late Josephine. Welcome, both of you. It's so good to have you in studio. Thank you for thank you, inviting thank us. You. Today there's going to be the unveiling of the tombstone, as I mentioned in the introduction, of the late Josephine Moshabani. What significance did she play in the role of South Africa? Josephine Moshabani is one of the, the people who have gone through difficulties because of her involvement in politics or the struggle because she wanted to contribute to the freedom of South Africa. Mm. Now, she had gone to visit a friend to the father in Botswana, and when she came back, then she was arrested on the 31st of July, 1985. And she was kept in isolation in the Hennesburg police station, which is just beyond Teflop. It used to be University of uh, the North. Now it's University of Limpopo. And he was, she was kept there alone, being tortured there. And ultimately, then she was transferred to Baragwanath, now the Chris Honey yeah. hospital. And unfortunately, then she died on the 3rd of April. And What year was this? It was in uh, 1986. 1986. Yes. She was arrested, in, she was detained in 1985, mm -hmm. 31st of July, under Section 9 of the Internal Security. Yes. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now she died on the 3rd of April, yeah. uh, 1986. So oh, we, we felt that it is important uh, that we, we celebrate the unsung heroes. And we also want to write our own history. And with writing our own history so that this generation also knows where we come from, mm. understands where we come They are to build on what we, has been started by those who have lost their lives, those who were maimed, those who, left, who, who remain being orphans because of the trying of liberating our country. Indeed, indeed. Yes, it is very important for our youth today that they be more focused, especially on education, and build, they've got more responsibility to think that people died for this freedom, yeah. so they have to take it forward. We know there are challenges, and when there are challenges, let's sit down and let's talk about how both of us, how we can uh, resolve those challenges in a positive way that we, we continue and not go back. Anyway, there are very few things that divide us as a nation. Mm. We are united, very few divide us. Yeah. So let's keep on. Keep going and, yeah, and remember the spirits on. of those who exactly. have done so much. Comrade Joshua, Marie, let's one, yeah. talk about your sister. And, uh, and, and obviously, for the family, this must be a wonderful occasion for you to see her finally being recognized for the work she did. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it, is, it is indeed. Uh, the, the best day for our, for, for our, our, our family. And she, it was overdue, of course, the day like this. And, and I'm very much thankful for the government, to the initiative that they've taken uh, towards my sister. Uh, Josephine is a third child in our family. And uh, she, 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 I'm the, the fourth one. And I've got three sisters. She's yeah. the third uh, child. And uh, you know, growing, she was she was like a, a, a leader, a, a a a leader in the family. She could be a, a good guider to the family. And and then until she 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 went to a university of the north, then to a step up. So then she was actively involved in in struggle, and she was. Um, like, if, 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 if she was still alive today, I'm, I'm, I can tell you that uh, she could influence most of uh, uh, young kids of today who are now, uh, you know, they, 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 they are, look like they, they, they're losing direction. Yeah, she put them she, back on the, on the yeah, right she could put, How old put was the, she when she died? She was 24 years 24 when she did, yes, old. and mm. she, she, was, she was strong enough yeah. to, to, to you know. Mm, and then she, she went through a lot, especially after she was arrested. Mm. Um, she was kept in isolation and, and she was 
she was uh, uh, tortured and, and and when she she was forced to come to to to, to be released uh, because of uh, the, the, the 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 state of health that she was she has encountered through the torturing and she she uh, uh, until the doctors found out that she she she, she got a lot of blood inside her head wow. you know mm. And that was painful. It was painful uh, ordeal that she yeah. went through. Well, and it's it's great she, that she's she's finally being recognised for the work yes. that she's done. Minister, let me just leave the, the very quick final word with you. What's happening with Josephine today? This is just, I imagine, the start of 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 a lot more. I, I know this is exactly. something you're very passionate about. Uh, exactly. Today is an excitement that we are recognising here, but we are also going to do memorial. Yeah. Uh, which will be do, uh, do sometimes next year. It's not going to end with Josephine. We already have identified others. And I'm making a call out there for those who know the people who are the unsung heroes. Mm. And you could still be unsung because we hit some people who will, the police wanted to kill. And then you, you let us know we are busy with the Liberation Heritage Route. We want to write our own story, not other people writing about our stories. Yeah. We want those old men, the old ladies who helped us during that time to come forward, that our history must be completed. It will connect right through to SADC and to all, the, all of Africa. And we are doing this today on the 18th of December because it's in memory of her birthday. Today's her birthday. It's yes. her birthday, yes. 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 We so, used to say happy birthday that, during, yeah. The, yeah. during, during the memorial. Well, yeah, so our our thoughts, our prayers are with you and the family. And, uh, and, and I think it's an amazing initiative. It really is. And celebrating these unsung heroes that lost their lives so many years ago. 24-year-old uh, Josephine Moshobane is going to be celebrated today as her uh, tombstone is going to be unveiled. Nine o'clock this morning. She passed away in 1986 after a long struggle with fighting against the system. Brain damage. Yeah, and from brain damage. Thank you for it. Mm. Thanks Thank for joining us, Deputy Minister. Rejoice yeah. Maburufasi in the Department of Arts and Culture and the brother of Josephine, Maripa Moshabane. Thank you for being with us. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank Let's take you. a break.